The scientific method is credited to Galileo Galilei and Sir Francis Bacon. There are several activities that the scientific method involves. One is good observations. We need to observe events. In particular, we want quantitative data rather than simply qualitative data. When we have quantitative data, we can use the power of mathematics to help us get an even better understanding than we would otherwise get if we just had qualitative, non-number information. In the scientific method, we propose hypotheses. A hypothesis, of course, is a reasonable and testable answer or explanation. In the scientific method, we carry out controlled experiments, which means that the experimental and the control groups differ by only variable. When we're comparing two experimental setups, those two setups must be exactly the same, except in one respect. Then, if we observe a difference in the results in those two setups, then we have some good confidence in the fact that the one variable that was different somehow influenced that different result. And finally, we need to draw a valid conclusion. We need to use the data that we gather to draw a conclusion. The scientific method doesn't necessarily have certain steps that you have to go in a particular order, but these are all activities that are involved. Other important terms when we're studying things in science, the system. The system is what we choose to study. The surroundings, on the other hand, is everything else. Generally, we can't study everything at once, so we focus on certain things, and those things that we're focusing on we call the system. We also need models to simplify phenomena. Pictured here, we have not the Earth, but a model of the Earth. Here we have not an atom, but a model of an atom. Here we have not a city or a state, but a model. And we need models in order to grasp phenomena. To understand, we must simplify.